Okay, uh, we start with this drawing. Again, the top view is missing, so we have to find the top view. So again, the first thing we do, since this corner intersects right here, we're gonna draw a 45 degree angle from this. This is our first projection line. From here, we can put all of these vertical lines. Every vertical line, we're gonna draw up to hit the 45. So I'm gonna go from here up, and I'm drawing lightly. I'm drawing a little darker in the video just so you can see it. But every 45 degree angle comes up, touches. Here's a, here right here is a vertical line, so we wanna bring it up. So I'm gonna come and do that. Once it hits this 45 degree angle, we're gonna go left with it. And again, we're not using a ruler, we're just kinda doing our best draw straight. I know I'm going a little crooked, but I'm just showing you what possibly you were going to draw. Okay. Then I come back to my front view. All vertical lines go up. That's going to be my start and my finish. Now we want to make sense of all this. If I look at my top, these shaded areas is what we're drawing. If I start my bottom left, bottom left, so this spot, it goes up. We know that this middle piece keeps going, so we go up from here, up, keep going, and then the back part goes a little farther. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way to the back. I know this is the back because that's the last line I drew. From here, it goes all the way. From here, it goes all the way to the front. It goes here, then here, then here. So these are all dark lines I'm drawing. Go ahead and box it in. Okay, we have three more lines. One, two, three that I gotta deal with. We ask ourselves, can I touch this part of the object from the top view? Can I touch this line or this line? The answer is yes. So with that said, I can draw these in between my outsides dark. just like so. We have one more line. If we remember, it came from this middle. It is also this line here. It comes up. Now, can I see this line from the top? It's right in here. Can I see it? No. So what that means is it's going to be what we call a hidden line. So I'm going to go ahead and erase this just so you can see. It's going to look like this. Okay, that's basically drawing. So then, of all the other things, we always erase our projection lines. So I'm gonna go through and erase these. So you can see them. And this is what we should end up with. Okay, we'll go ahead and stop there and move to the next drawing.